The makeshift winter marbling pits continues with a spot of curling, the ancient art of rolling round things along flat things. There's a slight change to the format this year. Instead of our teams taking it in turns to roll their marbles one by one, they will instead be rolling them side by side simultaneously. Because, let's be honest, who wants to watch 17 minutes of marble curling? Well, if you do, just watch this video twice. Win-win. And of course, the aim of the game is to get your marble as close to the center of that target as possible. Starting with USA versus Azerbaijan, and it is the USA who take the lead early on. And they extend that lead with what looks like a bullseye, as Azerbaijan clearly remember they've left the oven on at home. Yes indeed, an additional 10 points you can see in that graphic in the top right corner. Keeping the totals as we go. And this game, surely, we don't need that to tell us. It is the USA who have won quite comfortably 26-7. The difference perhaps being shown between an established, experienced Marblympics team versus a newbie. And we've got another one of those matches now as Canada take on Jamaica. But it's the newbies Jamaica with the better of it so far. Canada really struggling to even hit the target. As Jamaica have two marbles to Canada's one after three rolls. And can Canada save themselves with this final one? Jamaica have missed the target but so it seems have Canada. So this time it is the newbies, Jamaica, who advance to the quarterfinals. Neither of these teams have ever done marble curling with us before, and India get off to an amazing start with a bullseye straight off. They nearly met that with their third, but can't quite get the both of them on. But it's still a pretty hefty score, and a pretty hefty win. India take this one, 26 to Philippines 9. As with all of our events, this curling rink is 100% homemade from items we found lying around our house. We started with some hydrogen atoms that we found in our garage, then Felix found some oxygen at the bottom of one of his toy boxes. We chucked them together in a tray and left them to cool outside overnight. This is a slightly different process to last year where we used a freezer to chill the sheet and it seems to have given a slightly different result with the ice being much more slippery, making it difficult for our marbles to settle on the target. It's not a problem for Netherlands though, who dispatch Great Britain to advance. However, it's a very different story for Germany and Cameroon, just one marble out of four between them. And that was Germany with a three, but Cameroon are fighting back now. They take the lead, 9-3. They both score with their final marble, but it's yet another low scoring game as Cameroon advance, winning 14-8. Perhaps Tonga and Brazil have had the advantage of watching other teams as they both score with their first marbles and with their second. Brazil taking the lead 16 to 13 for Tonga. And they've closed the gap 18-16 with one marble left each. But Tonga failed to hit the target. Not a great one for Brazil, knocking their marbles away from the centre. But it's still enough to advance 23-16. Uzbekistan take a while to settle that first marble, but in the end it's a good, strong start with an 8. And it's an even better response from Tanzania with a bullseye. While Uzbekistan also seem to be worried about Azerbaijan leaving their oven on. And they've gone to check in fact. Oh, it all seems to be well there. What lovely sporting ship. And they've been rewarded with a nice little mill around the fire. Meanwhile, their teammates have some work to do. They need to get back on top of Tanzania. They won't like that. Both marbles miss with just one left. And both teams have blocked themselves. But Tanzania managed to add an extra marble to the fray. Not that they needed it as they were winning anyway. And come out as victors 16-8 to advance. It's a perfect start for Congo with 10 points to Finland 0. And they extend their lead with eight points off that second marble. Continuing to pile on the pressure. They're in complete control of this game now. Scoring again with their third. And with their fourth as well. And Finland really were doomed from the start. They crash out as Congo go through to the quarterfinals to complete the lineup. Here are the fixtures. 
We'll be bringing you for the quarterfinals of this event, starting with USA versus Jamaica, and USA have overshot it, giving Jamaica an early 3-0 lead. They extend that lead now. What can USA do in response? They can get a bullseye, they take the lead, and Jamaica just don't quite have enough to bring it back, and USA get the win, another low scoring game, 14-11. Both of these teams managed bullseyes in their first round matches, but it's a disastrous start for India, and a disastrous second marble for Netherlands. Each of them scoring zero with those shots respectively, Another nil point for India, they'll need a miracle here with this final marble and that's what they get perhaps with the bullseye but it's not quite enough as Netherlands also score just three points but that's enough to win by the narrowest of margins 16-15 to reach the semi-finals. Who will join them from Brazil and Cameroon? It's Brazil with the upper edge to begin with a poor second marble but they still lead 9-6 Cameroon with another good shot they take the lead just one point in it can Brazil settle no they cannot they get one point with that final shot but it's not enough to overcome Cameroon who again win by a narrow margin just 12-11 but they're through to the semi-finals one final match to be determined, Congo with another good start. But Tanzania have drawn it back. Only five points though, so Congo still lead 8-5. Another good shot from Congo. That doubles their lead. And Tanzania have nothing left to offer. Congo extend that lead to win this match 21-9. And we have the semi-finals lined up ready for you. Congo are historically the strongest team remaining, having won the bronze medal in the curling last year, but USA and Netherlands are no pushovers. They've both scored bullseye so far, and they've both started very strongly here in this first semi-final, but a first mistake from Netherlands not hitting the target. Advantage USA, but what a dramatic finale. It looked as though Netherlands were gonna get the win, but they just slipped off the target in the end. And that gives USA a 16-10 victory and a place in the final. Congo with the better start so far against Cameroon. Low scoring again, but they are in control. Cameroon really need to pull something out if they're going to win this match. It's a good finish, but I'm not sure it will be enough as Congo advance with a 12-9 victory. And we see even in the semi-finals still seeing marbles not finishing on the target. These really are tough conditions requiring a great deal of skill and concentration to score good points. And both teams have started well in this third place playoff. Who will win the bronze, Netherlands or Cameroon? It's a dead tie as things stand. Netherlands with the better third marble. It all comes down to this. And Cameroon only manage a single point with their final marble, giving the victory and the bronze medal to the Netherlands. So it all comes down to this final game. Congo out in front as has become their custom, but USA have shown they can come back and that's precisely what they do after marble two. They extend that lead further with the third, a six point gap now. Can Congo overcome it? No, they cannot with that shot, and USA get the victory and the gold medal as they win this fiercely fought final between two thoroughly deserving great teams, 21-17. The curling belongs to the USA. Congratulations on their first gold medal of these games. Congo improve on their score from last year as they pick up the silver medal with the Netherlands picking up the bronze. Here's the full rundown of the points won during this event and how that affects the overall table with the Netherlands medalists in both events so far taking the top spot. But there's still plenty to play for. 
and we hope that you'll come back and join us for that. Next up, Bobsleigh! Yeah!